So listen, we're playing another Midnight Scenes today. Are you excited? I'm excited. This one is called The Nanny. It's the next in the Midnight Scenes series. And I think we only have one left after this, which is unfortunate, but when they release another one, we will inevitably be thrilled to play it. So let's get into it. I'm excited for this one. Ooh, different music. Whose eye is this? The eye. On tonight's episode, two innocent children will face their most primal fears, haunted by mysteries from beyond the grave. Ancient secrets that should never have been unearthed. Tormented souls wandering between realities. Turn off the lights and enjoy this chilling tale. I did turn off the lights. I made it spooky in here. Welcome to another dimension. Welcome to Midnight Scenes. I love it. It's so good. It's so ominous. The nanny. Hmm. Many things can go wrong with that. <laughs> with that title. <laughs> Cool looking house. Very like retro modern. Does that make any sense? October 1986. Mm. Good morning, my name is John Wilson, Tina. Playing with some dolls. That's the same doll. Good morning. Wait a second. I am John Wilson. What are you talking about? You must be a double. A double? Are you crazy? Doubles don't exist. Really? Then how do you explain this? Oh no, you're a doppelganger. My evil double, aren't you? Are you here to kill me and steal my identity? I don't want to die so young. Are you coming to say goodbye to mom and dad? I'm busy. They're going to be away for three days. Won't you miss them? What are you playing anyway? They're going to be away for three days. Won't you miss them? Why should I? They're leaving me alone with you and that silly Veronica for three days. I hate them. Veronica's nice. I like her. That's because you don't have any personality. What are you playing anyway? I still can't believe they bought me another identical Benny for my birthday. They don't care about me at all. They don't even remember which toys they already gave me. <laughs> Aren't two Bennies better than one? Don't be silly, it's ridiculous. Can I have one of them? No way, I'd rather keep playing the stupid doppelganger thing for the rest of my life. Pierce, okay. Can I go in there? 
I won't let us into his office if he's not home. A window? The Jordan's garden looks so empty since Thomas got sick. Better not go into Tina's room if I want to stay alive. <laughs> Thomas got sick. What happened to Thomas? Who's Thomas? Walkie talkies. I'm eager to try out my new walkie talkies. Cool. I had walkie talkies at a kid as a kid. The new starling nest in the big tree. Posters. The one-eyed Pete Island poster is my favorite. Okay. Great. Um, another window. Okay. Thomas. Thomas okay? Plant. Poor thing. It's dying. Cheers. Painting. Miss Jenkins would send me home if I painted something like that. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I had walkie-talkies when I was a kid. My mom got them for us for when we were, uh... Well, that's a wall. I was looking at that as if it was going downstairs. For when we were going to the park. Don't worry, if anything comes up, I'll call you right away. Have a great trip. The bay is beautiful this time of year. Wish we were going for pleasure, not work. We should go. The plane leaves three in three hours and we might hit some traffic. Hi kids. Be good. And don't push Veronica too hard. Bye mom. Bye dad. Well, here we are. We still have a couple hours until dinner time. What would you like to do? Watch TV? Watch TV. The amazing Jesse Marks is about to start. I love that show. Of course you do. TV is entertainment for dumb kids. Let's paint. I like to paint trucks that explode and your drawings are boring. You paint like a little baby. That's not true. You know, you're being a dickhead. You know, don't talk to your brother like that. It's Christina. Only my family calls me Tina. I've taken care of you so many times, don't you consider me family yet? Pfft, don't be ridiculous. Well, Oliver, looks like your sister is in a mood today. Cheers, she is, isn't she? Maybe she wants to tell us what to do. Let's go to the forest. The forest? On the other side of the lake. Yeah, it's super cool. We go there sometime, some afternoons with mom and dad. It's very pretty. The trees are painted different colors. Can we go, please? That way I can look for my toy truck. I lost it in the clearing the other day. Okay, fine. Just for an hour and then we come back. You pick up the oars. Sure. Okay. Pick up the oars. I got oars and I got rope. Probably good. Jordan trees are invading our garden. Sparkle hasn't come to eat in days. Sparkle the dog? Is the dog dead? I hope the dog isn't dead. Okay. Neither of you know how to row. I've never piloted a boat. Leave it to the professionals. But it's safe, right? Don't be afraid. There are no monsters in the lake or anything like that. Just sit next to me and take my hand. Ugh, get in the boat, lovebirds. Need to install the oars first. How do we install the oars? Yeah, I know we need to install the oars first. Oh, okay. I just had to drag and drop them. All right, got it. Just sitting. Okay. Can I go look for my truck? It can't be very far. You're always losing stuff. You'll you lose your stupid head one day. Okay, you can go, but don't walk too far. I don't want to lose sight of you. Hey, dokie. I should just go with him. I feel like this little guy needs some company. 
To the forest. A chocolate bar. Oh, what are you doing? Spooky. I'm not sure about this chocolate bar. People are so inconsiderate. Drawing. Okay. Oliver. <laughs> oh my god. Uh huh. More paintings. Just lots of crows just staring at me. Say so you can count the rings if you read their age. So what, this one's... Four. Two. Three. Young tree, I guess. Bones? Is it a, an animal? As long as it's not a person. Okay, this is getting a little bit far into the forest, don't you think, Oliver? There's a rock. What is that? Is it a worm? Little worm? Squirrel? Oh! That's a finger. That's for sure a finger. Maybe we go back. Maybe we don't need the toy truck, maybe. The fuck is that? Sticks? Nope. Mm -mm. Mom never lets me play this far from the clearing. My truck must be around here somewhere. Maybe if you haven't found your truck yet, it's probably not here. It's a conveniently placed truck. Here you are, who put you there? Tina. Hey Oliver, come here, there's something I want to show you. Tina? What are you doing here? Oh, I don't have an option. How did she come from that way? That feels like it's not believable. Oh, because it's not. Okay. So it was just foreshadowing Tina playing with her dolls saying doppelganger. Uh, great. Tina, you have a doppelganger. So many squirrels in this forest. One time they ate a kid from town from head to toe. <laughs> Only his bones remained. I'm not lying, it was on the news. That's creepy. By the way, where's your brother? I told him not to walk too far away. Don't ask me. I'm not the babysitter. Fair point. Oliver? Um, the other Tina kidnapped him, actually. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oliver! What's wrong? What the hell is that? Of course, it's full of paintings like that. That says there's this magical aura from the tribes that lived in the woods. It keeps the paintings bright. This one, though, I haven't seen it before. It certainly looks recent. So creepy. You didn't paint it to scare passerby, did you? How would I have painted it? It's like 20 feet tall. How did anyone paint it? It's like 20 feet tall. Come on, it's time we go back home. I don't like this place. It gives me the creeps. I agree. Come on, Oliver. Let's go. Oliver? Um, mm hmm Oliver has fallen and cannot get up. <laughs> what? What's happening? Is he alright? No, he doesn't look alright. Oh yeah, come on, help me get him to the boat. Um, Oliver seems possessed. Did the crow get him? Thank god you're back. How are you feeling? What happened? My head hurts. What happened? Blood sugar drop probably. Here, eat this chocolate. Is that the chocolate that we found in the woods? It's good. Hazelnut's my favorite. Really? Mine too. Hey, are you sure you're okay? Maybe I should call the doctor. I'm fine. 
Never scare us like that again, okay? And Tina, where is she? In her room, I think. I wonder what she wanted to show me. What do you mean? In the woods, she told me to follow her. But she walked too fast. Nope. Then I found the strange drawing on the rock. It really impressed you, huh? I don't know. I guess. Come on, rest while I heat up dinner. The lasagna I brought will surely bring you back to life. She's not asking, like... Ina never said that. What are you... What are you on, small boy? Looks like dinner did wonders. I like that happy, rosy face. Cute. Now rest, little prince. Have sweet dreams. Don't listen to her. What? Tina, she's always mean, but I think you're cool. Oh, thank you very much. I think you're cool, too. <laughs> I really enjoy taking care of you both, you know? You're very interesting, kids. What a compliment. <laughs> hey, do you want me to show you my collection of cards? From the Midnight Zombies TV series. Sure, I'd love that. And this one is the spooked zombie. This one is the biggest and scariest zombie of the family, but he's always nice to the living. Babby zombie? This is the babis. Don't be fooled, even though it's a baby, this one has super sharp teeth. Great. Hungy zombie? This one's the most evil. She devours brains. Zombie pet. That looks like a dog. <laughs> and this is my favorite. Isn't she cute? Zombie pet. What a fantastic collection. I love it. Hope you don't dream of brain-eating zombies tonight. Cheers. Get some rest, Oliver. Good night. Night. Hmm. Ah, oh, back in the forest. I knew there was something fishy about this. Oh, <laughs> sorry, the text. <laughs> I just... <laughs> uh, Oliver, hey, Oliver, are you awake? You know, what's wrong? It's Veronica, she's gone. She left us. Stop, you're always trying to scare me. If you don't stop, I'll tell mom when she gets back. I'm telling you, I saw her from my window. She was walking towards the pier. She must be meeting her boyfriend secretly when she would be when she should be here taking care of us, like that other time. You made that up. You never liked Veronica. I didn't make it up. That boyfriend of hers jumped over to our garden to be with her. I saw them kissing. Ew. But this time I have my camera, I'll take pictures. Come on, let's see if we can spy on them from the window. See something? The boat is missing. Found on the other side of the lake. How romantic. How? She doesn't know how to steer the boat. More proof that she's with her boyfriend. Fair play. I can see a light in the forest, but nothing more. Dad has old binoculars in his office. If you want me to go get them, of course. I'm not going into his office at night. It's dark in there. This is your chance to prove that you're not a coward anymore. Come on, they must be in on his desk or in a drawer or maybe the closet. <sighs> Listen, Tina, if you want them so bad, fucking you take it. You go get it. I feel like we should take the walkie-talkies, though. Okay, Dad's office. That would be mad if you found out I've been snooping around his office. Closet, maybe? Locked. Okay. Let's see. 
I wonder if dad killed someone in the war. Maybe I'll ask him when he comes back. Great. I'm not gonna answer that. Shoe box. Binoculars. Why were the binoculars in the shoe box? Hello? Who, who is it? That sounds like death, Oliver. And death is coming. Veronica, please come back. Why did you leave us? Alright, Tina. You waiting for me in here? Yeah. Okay, no way, I got him. It's my turn to look. Huh. Okay, nothing that way. This feels like we're being a little bit creepy. Now we're creeping on Veronica. The music just went silent. I hate it. Why is her mouth wide open like that? I see Veronica. She's alone and looks confused. Wait, she stole my flashlight. <laughs> Come on, let's go to the pier. Maybe we can see what's going on from there. We can't leave the house at night. Mom and Dad will find out. Okay, I'll go alone. But I'd lock myself in the bedroom if I was you. You know the goblin in the attic likes to hunt at night and I won't be here to protect you. Stop. She's so mean to him. So are you coming? Oliver's like, fine. Then get dressed and grab your walkie-talkies. We might need them in case we lose track of each other. But we're not going to, are we? Of course not. It's just a precaution. Okay, I'll get the walkie-talkies. We should take the... Something warm on. Okay. Ah, he did. He put it on. Okay. I have walkie-talkies. Great, let's go to the pier. Yeah, that feels fitting. Achievement unlocked. Creepy show. What's the clock doing? Do these all still look the same? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't go into Tina's room. Should I go into Tina's room while she's not here? Mm-hmm. I'm in a new room. Better not go in Tina's room if I want to stay alive. Okay, I can't. Is there anything out front? Or is he gonna be like, don't go out there? Pyrrha can be reached from the garden. I don't need to go outside. Alright. Modern art. Yuck. Outside we go. Hmm, it all says the same stuff, okay. Freaking crows, man. What's that? Impossible to see anything from here. They've taken the boat to the other shore. We'll have to walk around the lake on foot. Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this. Do you think I'm enjoying this? Of course you are. I don't like it when you get bossy like this. Why does everything have to be done your way? Well, I don't like dragging along a whining, crying baby either. So, we both have to put up with it. Okay, I'm sorry. You should be. Sometimes you're not such a crybaby. What now? There's something floating in the water. Looks like a bag. Veronica's bag. Are, are you sure? Yeah, see? It has Piero the cat's face on it. It's hers. Did she drop it? Hmm. 
I'll never reach it from here. Do I have to get something? What's that? A pruner? Okay. Alright. The tree branch. This will do. Where did my pruner go? I've lost my pruner. I traded my pruner for a tree branch. Here, Tina. Take the branch. Oh. Uh-huh. Tina! Are you okay? It, it's very cold. Something's wrapped around my leg. I can't get out. Hey, hey, calm down. Everything will be fine. Come on, throw something that I can hold on to. Rope? Better tie the rope somewhere. Okay. Now, go find help. Miss Jordan is awake. I saw a light on in her bedroom. Come on, go. I'll be fine. Don't worry. Just hurry up, okay? Here, take one of the walkie-talkies. That way I'll know you're okay. <laughs> Yeet it in the water. Can she not just come out? And help at Miss Jordan's house. Okay. Can I crawl through the hole? No, okay. I must have to go through the house. Yeah. Okay. It's locked. Oh, there's the keys. Okay, that's convenient enough. better call Tina. I hope she's okay. Tina, are you still there? Yes, I'm freezing though. Have you found help? I'm on it. Oh. The crows? Hope that's not sparkle. I don't like that I got an achievement that said sparkle? Question mark? I need some help. Hello? Oliver! What are you doing here? Is everything alright? Miss Jordan, I need your help. Our babysitter was staying with us, but she left us, and we went looking for her and- Okay, okay, breathe. <laughs> oh, little guy. Come on in, it's cold outside. Okay. Okay, slow down. What happened? Tina fell into the lake off the pier. Oh my god, is she okay? Yes, but she can't get out of the water. She needs help. And where are your parents? They're out. They left us with the baby shitter, but baby shitter. <laughs> well, she is kind of a shit babysitter. Where'd she go? It, being possessed is no excuse for leaving the children. The babysitter, but she abandoned us. Okay, I'll run to the pier to help. That's good. That's promising, probably. Your sister. Stay here and attend Thomas in case he needs anything. You know he requires special attention. He's in his room. Keep an eye on him, will you? I'll be right back. Mm. I don't love whatever's happening here. Thomas's room, okay. Hello, Thomas? Oh, buddy. What is this terrifying image? Oliver, what are you doing here? Tina's in trouble, your mom went to help her. Really? I thought mom was taking a bath upstairs. Sorry, sometimes my medication makes me confused. Is Tina okay? She fell off the lake and can't get out. Yes, but she always ends up in trouble. At least she can get... <laughs> At least she can get into trouble. I swear though, I thought mom was chilling in the bathroom. I hate this medication. How do you feel? Physically or mentally? Uh, mentally. Well, it's only been two months since Dad died. It's been hard and Mom makes me go to therapy with a super boring lady. Physically? I can't take two steps without gasping for air. Oh. Other than that, I feel wonderful. 
Can I ask you something that I never asked you before? So he said his mom was in the bathtub, though? Maybe, was that not his mom? You don't have to answer it if you don't want. Of course, ask away. Never told me how your dad died. I don't know, mom never talks about it. One day he got a call from the doctor and suddenly he stopped talking to us. He spent the rest of his days crying and sleeping. Sorry, I'm sure he loved you very much. I don't know, he changed a lot. About your illness. Are you gonna die soon? I'd be very lonely. You're my best friend at school. Yeah, no idea. <laughs> Mom always makes plans for the future. But I think she does it just to cheer me up. Her words are happy, but her face is sad. But I don't care too much about it. I'm not afraid of dying. Really? I'll go back to the same dark, tranquil place where I was born. Where I was when I was born. Before I was born. I like that idea. Anyway, let's stop talking about sad things. Look, I want to show you something that's super cool. A Ouija board. I found it in Mom's closet. I think she uses it to talk to Dad. Come on, who do you want to contact? I don't want to contact anyone. Things. I don't like them. Come on, there must be someone you miss. Your grandparents? They're still alive. Really? How boring. Come on, give me a name. Okay, I want to contact... Marquise, my old nanny. I mean, the title of the game is The Nanny, so let's see. She lived in this house before you moved in. She was great. She had one eye missing and wore an eye patch like a pirate. One day she suddenly disappeared. My mom told us she went to live on her family's farm in Colorado. But Tina says she saw an ambulance and people and the, and the police. We think something horrible happened to her. Mothers well, lie, you know? <laughs> they do it to protect us, but they lie. We're going to contact your old babysitter. If she died in this house, her presence will be super strong. It'll be super cool, you'll see. I don't know. Come on, this is fun. Here, put your hand on this triangle thing. It's called a planchette. Now I'll add my hand. Maybe we can join our energies. Now close your eyes. You have them closed? Yep. Good. Now focus on your old babysitter's image. I found this picture of her in my father's office. Do you think it might help? Are you kidding? It would help a lot. Let me see. Super cool. She really looks like a pirate. This picture will attract her spirit. Come on, put it next to the board. Let's start. I don't know if I like this. Relax, we can stop it whenever we want. We simply say goodbye to the spirit and she'll leave without a trace. Ready? Oh boy. I am... And... You're moving it. Not me, it's your nanny spirit. Oh. E. I am not. Uh huh. Do you have a leak? Uh oh. Bathroom is right above us. Maybe mom left the tap running. Don't get up, I'm going to take a look. Me here. That was red. That was red. That's blood. That's red for blood. I'm just saying. I don't make the rules. Red is for blood. Dead, dead. Poor Thomas. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god is right. Miss Jordan? But how? I don't get it. If this is Miss Jordan, who's with Tina? Tina? Tina, are you there? That 
Miss Jordan is not r the real Miss Jordan. Miss Jordan is dead. There's blood everywhere. Tina, do you hear me? Oh boy. Oh boy. I have to go to the pier quickly. Oliver, what is it? I heard you screaming. Stay there. Don't go upstairs, okay? Why, what happened? Was it an open tap? It wasn't an open tap. Listen to me, I have to go find Tina. You stay here and call the police. Do what I tell you. The, the police? Because of an open tap? Just do it and tell them to come fast. But Oliver... Oh, buddy. He's sparing him the truth. He's sparing him the sight in the bathroom. What's the police's phone number? Don't, oh, Thomas. Oh, that is dragged away. Great. Mm hmm. Wouldn't we be running to the pier? Like, fast running? And crow. What did you do to the dog? <laughs> Here. Tina's gone. Tina! Oh no, she's gone. What the fuck is that? There are footprints leading to the path that borders the lake. Because Miss Jordan's double taken Tina into the woods, but why? I have to go find her. So many doubles in this game. So many. Okay. We've gotten over to the, to the other side of the lake. We found our flashlight. Tina? Veronica? Get away, you crazy little cannibal squirrel. Easy, easy. If I get closer, it will bite me. Can I throw the toy truck at the squirrel? Here, have fun. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why was it chewing on the flashlight to begin with? Take the way. Eh? Hey. I don't want to be doing this is the thing. Oh. What up? Tina, thank goodness I found you. Miss Jordan has a double. You murdered the real Miss Jordan and then came for you. This is horrible. Come with me, Oliver. Oh, where are you going? Yeah, Tina? <sighs> Tina, I don't want to be traipsing around in the forest at night like this, girlie. I want to go to bed. I want to be in my cozy little... <sighs> Bed. Yeah, what was that? Was that our babysitter? Was that our ghost babysitter? Sounds like a cult. Whatever's happening is culty as fuck. Veronica, oh my god, what is happening? She dead. That bitch. Ooh. Dude, that actually scared me. <laughs> my heart went whoop. out my butt. Hmm. May I sing you a lullaby? Oh no. That would be devastating. Don't worry, we'll find them, even if we have to turn the world upside down. I've never seen anything like it. Two children kidnapped. The neighbor brutally murdered in her bathtub. The babysitter missing. What the hell happened here tonight? Detective, we found Veronica Turner, the babysitter, in the woods. She's dead. Any clues on the kids? Well, actually, there's something else, but you better see it with your own eyes. How did they get home so fast? Who called them? 
Maybe because Thomas called the police. I'm the detective now. I'm gonna show... Ooh. Uh-huh. God, poor girl. Seriously. Look at her wounds. It looks like a wild animal attack. A wild animal doesn't murder people in their bathtubs or kidnap children, though. If you think that's strange, you haven't seen it all yet. Take a look at the rock. What am I supposed to see here? Agent, point the light at the painting. The hell? Ooh. That's fucking cool. Okay, so forest demons. Abducting children. Huh. Wow. Poor Oliver, poor Tina. We might never know what happened to them. But don't fret, something tells me Detective Taylor won't rest until she finds an answer. For now, it's a secret between the two siblings and the creature of the forest. Thank you very much for enjoying this new chapter of Midnight Scenes with us. Remember to shut your windows and lock your doors tight before bed. I'm gonna have nightmares. Creatures of the night are lurking. Good night and sweet dreams. Evil. That's evil to say. That was great. Seriously, that was a great game. Loved it. I can't wait to to uh, to play the next chapter. I'm seriously so excited about all of these games. I like the point and click adventure and the uh, the storytelling that has like premonitions at the beginning anyway, so you can connect everything that they're talking about. Really cool. Really great story design. Really great artwork. Amazing. I'm thrilled. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and tickle the like button. If you want to see more just like this, don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on my channel. I've got a couple more Midnight Scenes ones if you haven't looked at them yet. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.